So we learned how to write to a file. Sometimes what you want to do is to write to a file that already exists without removing the um, already existing contents of this file. So you want, in other words, to, to add to the file instead of uh, writing from scratch. This process of writing to a file that already has contents before without deleting it is called appending to the file. So what you're doing is that you are appending to the file. Now, um, to understand this concept, we uh, this concept we are going to uh, have a quick look at what we had before which is write to a file. We said we create a print writer, call it whatever you want, link it to the file that you want, and then what you do uh, next is that um, you, um, the next thing you do is that you write to the file and then you close the file. Now, if I open names.txt, I will find that it already has this contents, right? So if I compile, all right, and notice here that this is when I started recording the video, the file, date created is the old one however if I look at date mod modified it would be 334 p.m. so you see the difference here so it doesn't delete the old file it just overwrites the old file so here Chris Catherine and Jean all right and that's that's there all right now if I go and, and try to change these names I'm going to delete this all right or let's add a new uh, print here and I'm doing this intentionally and then I'm going to close the file again so as we said so the buffer uh, is written to the file now notice here that I did not create a new print writer object and if I try to run this compile run last modified 334 open it nothing changed All right. So that is because I did not create a print writer. So a print writer object must be created before you write again to the file. So I'm going to create again another print writer here. All right. And even though I declared the output file print writer, I don't need to redeclare it, but I just create another. Um, output file pointing or referencing the print writer with this file name so that's perfectly fine you don't have to declare a new one uh, or you could declare a new completely new one that's up to you so here run let's open names now you see that it changed and just printed gene because this is what we have here now the key the key take of this um, uh, quick demo here is that after writing closing the file then I go and try to open the file again Right. Notice here that creating the print writer is not just about creating the print writer, it's also um, preparing the file so we can write to. Now, once I do this again and link the same existing names, names.txt, to that print writer and try to write gene, what will happen is that it will go and override whatever was written in names.txt. So that that is something um, to, um, to consider um, and be careful with. So that's that's a problem. I, I wrote um, to the file while deleting everything that exists. And this is not what I want to do. I would like to, to keep the old contents and just add more names to this list, right, as we go. So that, that would be appending to the file. Now, to do appending or to append to a file, what you want to do is to use something that allows this. Print writer doesn't allow this. All right, so print writer is very limited to just going and printing whatever you want to the file with deleting whatever that exists there. If you want to append, though, what you want to do is to create something called a file writer. All right, so you want to create a file writer. And the nice thing about the file writer in terms of um, its constructor view, you will notice that it takes a file object. And it also has another parameter or um, a parameter here that is uh, of Boolean data type and it's called append. All right, so here, unlike file writer, uh, sorry, uh, print writer, which takes just uh, a string for the file name, file writer has a file as an object and also a Boolean that could be true or false of setting append. So if you want to append, all you need to do is just give the name of the file, all right? And at the same time, you would set append 
to true. All right. So this is what you want um, to do. Now notice here that there is uh, another constructor that will take just the string. All right. So if we go back here, let's for example uh, do something like this. Let's keep this and let's search for um, file title in Java. All right. So constructor, you see here. So there is a file writer that takes file, file and boolean, string, string and boolean. All right. So it has all of these uh, constructors. So the one we are showing here is not really the accurate one in terms of how we are using it here. There is another one here that could go with a file writer. That takes a string, right? Uh, name and boolean. That is the text. All right. So this is the one that we are using here. It's set to name the text, the name file, and the same uh, file, and true for append to tell file writer that we are going to append. Do not delete whatever is in there in this file. Then the next thing we will do is that after you create your file writer. Notice here that file writer is not going to be able to write using print, print line, and print f. All right. So in this case, you will need to link this to the conventional print writer to write. All right. So it's a two-step process here. First, you create a file writer, which allows you to set the true uh, flag here that you are going to append, and then link that file writer to the um, print writer. To go back to the level of using print, print, line, and print f. So that is uh, essential. All right. So if you think about it in terms of the code, this is what we have. Um, we have here the first thing is that we create the print uh, writer, write something, then close the file. So now we have a file that contains these names. And then we go and try to append to it. So what we do is that we create file writer. We call it file uh, fw or file writer. And then you could call it whatever call, oh, whatever you want, of course. And then here new file writer names the text the same file, and with the append set to true. And then I go link fw to the uh, print writer. And then I go print 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 and then close again. All right. So let's see what will this do in our um, code BlueJ? So here it is exactly the same. Um, print writer creates a file, names the text, write Catherine, press Jean, then close. All right. So if we run the first part of it, that will give us this names the text, and it has Catherine, press Jean. All right. In that way. Print F, print line, print line is what we get. All right. Uh, then I will close this file and then I go and append to it. All right. So here, compile, run, and run this. Open names. You will find that it appended to it Bell, Stephen, and Sharon. All right. So that that is how to append to a file and that that can be very useful sometimes you write something you go and, and get more output and then you go and try to append it and you do this iterative process using a loop or something and then eventually uh, after you are done you just have a file with all of this information written not necessarily at the same time but continuously or um, um, keeps getting updated and have that list so that's how to append to a uh, file Notice here that if you um, set this to false, all right, so if I run this again, I'm going to close this, run it, names, does that. Uh, now, if um, I go and set this to false, the flag of appending, and then compile, run, and go and open names again, notice here what will happen. 
it goes and overwrites and just writes Bell, Steve, and Aaron Chow. All right, and in this case, file writer is completely useless because you're not using that uh, feature of appending to the file at this point. So that, that is something also to keep in mind. 